some of the things that we use to teach our guys. Um, I need all of you guys lined up by position. So we need middles here. I need right side blockers there, left side blockers there. Okay, what we're going to do, and, and this is a drill, we'll use this in, in warm up. Um, a lot of times we do this before we ever attack a ball. But we're just telling our guys we want them to move together uh, and use swing blocking movement. So our outside blockers, they're going to pinch in just a little bit more. They're going to put their weight on their outside leg. Okay, middle blockers, you guys are neutral. You've got to be ready to go both ways. The way this drill is going to work, I'm just going to point in a direction. And when I point in that direction, I want you guys to move and block in that direction. If, if I point in this direction, all you're going to do is drop off. If I point in that direction, all you're going to do is drop off. If I point to the middle, both wing blockers aren't going to cross over. You guys are just going to use a hop step and block beside the middle. And so that's another reason why putting the weight on your outside leg is OK. Because if I point to the middle, you're just pushing off and you're going to block. All right, so you guys understand the drill. Once I've moved you to the outside, the middle gets replaced, and the outside on that side gets replaced. If all you do is cover, then you've got to come back up to the net until I send the block to your side. OK. Let's see if we can do this. Ready? Block. Good. Back to balance. Good. Go. Good. Replace. And you would get replaced. Very good. Go. Ready? Go. Okay, and we're watching, we're watching as the guys are moving. Um, there are some coaches that teach with, with swing blocking that we want to keep our elbows hitched as we make this move. There are some coaches that teach with swing blocking. I'm just going to let my elbows flow naturally, my arms straighten out. We're not real specific with our guys. We want them to make an athletic move as they go to swing block. Some of the, the key techniques and key po focal points we're telling our guys to load their outside leg. Load their outside leg. So if I'm moving in this direction, my outside leg is going to be loaded so I can push off on a hop step or so I can cross over. Another really important thing is, as you guys cross over to block, make sure that it's a big step, it's a hop step, and that you're getting that foot way out in front because it's going to get you to the point and then it's going to allow you to start to break and go straight up. And we want to see you guys make your move and go straight up, not fly through a space. OK, ready? Here again. Good. Go. OK, and, and what we're working with our middles, our middles have to, again, be in a position, make a step in the direction they're going to go, and then their, their step to get out to the outside has to be huge. You guys have to make a really aggressive step. And one of, the, one of the other things I remember, as we started to work with our guys on crossover footwork, now we had a guy, Phil Etherton, 6'9", went to the national team, and I'm watching him compared to other players on the national team. Phil, for us, was a guy that kind of shuffled and jumped. And other guys on the, on the national team were using crossover steps, and they were just much more aggressive, much more powerful, better able to get to good positions as they were setting their block. And so I saw that and said, we're not doing a very good job training our guys, especially to go to the next level. So we, we since that time, have started working a lot on, on footwork and helping our guys understand how to move. So Can I take a big first step? Take as big a first step as you want to. But both of your steps should get you side by side with them. As we started, as we started to train this technique, my initial fear was, are my guys going to run into each other? Am I going to injure guys? And I've actually found this. If I've got a blocker that stands out at the pin, just stands out at the pin, and gets ready to block, and my middle is coming to him, and typically in this kind of a system, I'm going to tell this player, a lot of times I want you to jump in. OK, so now with swing blocking, I've got two players, and they move together in the same direction. In other systems, I've got two players that move into each other. And I'm seeing in this system more of a risk with players landing on each other than I do in swing blocking. If they're moving in the same direction, one of the things, and of course as we're teaching this technique, come back to here, the very first thing this guy's got to do is clear that leg. 
he's got to get that leg out of the way. And once he does that, now I can move right beside him because he's cleared a place for me to step. If he's trying to make his move and I'm shuffling, then that leg's going to be in the way. So clearing that, that inside leg is very important. Let's just do a couple more movements here on this drill. Okay, ready? Go. And I would say, number 14, your move on that one, your crossover step was still too tentative. You've just got to go. You've got to take a bigger step. Let's go again. Let's see if we can get you to move more aggressively in this direction. Oh, you've got to wait. Hold on. I, I kind of faked you out. That's my bad. Ready? Go. There it is. That's, that's good because he's got, to, got his, he's got to close that gap. And to do that, that crossover step has to be huge. And it's one of the real important teaching points as you're working with the guys on that technique. So that's, that's one blocking drill that we'll use, kind of a warm-up drill, just to get our guys moving.